All right, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. Look at this. We got a thing from Vupu. This is the Vupu G Argus GT2 kit. And the GT1 kit, that GT1 mod, is still to this day, maybe it's even right here, one of my favorites of all time. But I never actually did a review for it. So I'm, I'm excited about this. What we're going to do today is jump down to the desk, set this up. It's a sub tank kit, kit, you know, so it shouldn't be rocket science. I'll meet you back over here at a later date. We'll hand out some banana stickers. Let's get this show on the road, Vupu. All right, yeehaw, here we go. This is the Argus GT2 kit. You can see here, comes with the matte tank, 200 watts, IP68, three amp, whatever the QS lock is, let's go. Solid and compact Argus outdoor. Oh, I see. Comes with a really good Vupu sort of, you know, battery guidelines, battery warning, and a thick Argus GT2 manual. It's actually really short. It's just in a lot of different languages. So let's go. Oh, there's your Vupu Argus GT2. Yeah, leathery, gunmetally. Now on the packaging, this says lime green. I, I, I don't see lime green anywhere. There's your matte tank. This is how you adjust your airflow. It's a big slider on the side. The pack-in matte tank is not going to have a coil head in it. But don't fear, there is a box with two coil heads in it. A USB-C cable. Silica gel. These are always fun and impossible to read, but these are called the TPP DM3. This is the 0.15, and these are the 0.2. These are the TPP DM2 coil head. I just put a few drops in the coil head as I usually do. These just press fit in with an O-ring. There's no round side or flat side, so you can just Boop, press it right in. Oh, would you look at that? There's two kidney shaped juice fill holes on here and there's two kind of holes punched into it. That's to let the air out because they also sort of split open, you know, to accommodate your bottle tip. Yeah, accommodate it. Bottle tip accommodated. The top is just a real nice quarter turn. Drip tip is an 810 drip tip. I actually kind of like that drip tip. I'll set that aside to soak up into the cotton. Let's look at this mod. Oh, that's real cool. The button to pop it open on the bottom is really nice and knurled and textured. You can literally just kind of take your finger and go, whoop. You don't have to make the sound effects. It just makes it more fun. Battery door's marked on the bottom. Just takes a firm press and you'll hear it click. Okay, that actually feels pretty nice, Vupu. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna see what we have here in terms of a display. All right, five watts. Well, looks like we're in smart mode. That means if I put this matte tank on here, it should read the resistance. Where's the resistance? Am I just? Missing it? Okay, it straight up does not show you the resistance in smart mode. Is that a new development? I think I remember them showing you the resistance. Anyway, okay, smart mode. All right, smart mode toot taken at 50 watts. I put the 0.15 ohm coil in there. It's actually pretty nice. Oh, would you look at that? There's like a physical lock right on the bottom here. It is real firm, but you can pop that down and a little lock will appear on your screen. Nice, satisfying click up, unlock it. That's pretty cool. So you have an up button and a down button and then just in one watt increments. If you press and hold both of them together. That's going to take you to your menu. The mode lets you choose between smart mode, which we're in right now, RBA mode, which has always been their straightforward wattage mode, turbo mode, which I don't know what it does in the manual. It seems to, you know, uh, be a temperature control thing and then normal temperature control thing. I took a few toots in smart mode, adjusted the wattage around to a few toots in RBA mode, adjusted the wattage around and a few toots in turbo mode and adjusted the wattage around and didn't notice any big astronomical differences. So that'll be something to explore further. We're gonna put it in RBA mode for now. Back in the menu, setting is just to reset your puff counter. If you go in here, it's just reset your puff counter, that's it, and you're back out of the menu. About device, chip ID, your level code. Sure, I didn't know Vupu was still doing the level thing. And then that's it, exit. I will say this does feel pretty nice in the hand right now. Weighty, feels pretty durable. I'm gonna use my block here, see if I can get this to like, Open. Yo, there it is. What's up, opening? That was just one pretty firm whack. You want to be an outdoor mod and you open that easily? It's still cool, though. I still like it. It still has a really great hand feel, and that leather feels nice. The leather feels good. It's embossed there, Argus GT2. The screen looks nice right at home on there. The buttons, they feel good. Anyway, I'm going to start using this like crazy. I'll meet you back up on top at a later date to hand out some banana stickers. Just wanted to do a little bit of an update today on this Vupu Argus GT2. It's been holding up really very nicely and I cannot get over how great this feels in the hand. It's a little bit 
weightier, I think, than some other mods that I've been using recently, but I really, really like it. Despite that bottom battery door, honestly, flying open at, at, at a moment's notice, Okay, maybe not there. I was able to knock it open pretty easy as you saw in the up close and I get the feeling that from any sort of distance in a fall, the battery door is definitely open. Your batteries are definitely coming out. I don't know that that's a deal breaker, but when you market something as being like, mm, tough, rugged, I feel like maybe the battery door shouldn't pop open every time you drop it. Now, regarding the tank, I'm usually I'm gonna say here what I usually say about Vupu tanks, and that is the coil heads themselves, really great. I get a little bit of crackle from this mesh, really enjoying the vape from it. What I don't like about this tank is the actual tank itself. I'm not in love with this matte tank. I do not like the airflow. I do not like the airflow adjustment. And most of all, I just don't super enjoy the way that it feels. This airflow, more than a lot of other airflow, just feels re real sharp. My only real other gripe with this is it's the gene chip, which we all apparently love the gene chip, and I actually don't mind the gene chip, but the gene chip does that one eternally annoying thing where if it's sitting for a long time, not even a long time, I would, cut, I would say maybe five, maybe 10 minutes at the most, if it's sitting there and you just pick it up and vape it, nothing's gonna happen. You do have to press the button to wake up the gene chip like you always have. One thing I didn't quite get to in the up close was the USB uh, mini, or not USB, USB-C charging on top here. Now, with a dual 18650 battery device, always take out my batteries, always use them in a separate charger. Rarely, if ever, do I charge them in the device, but if you wanted to charge them in the device, just a little boop, soft, really soft slider up here, you get a little USB-C right there. Overall, yeah, I am enjoying it, but I'm not ending this party here. I'm gonna keep using this. I'm gonna keep using these coil heads. This one felt a few times like it got a little slurpy on me and that kind of sent my radar spinning. So I'm gonna try to keep an eye on that slurpiness. I'll be back here at a later date to uh, hand out some banana stickers. Okay, fine, here we go. Eight Boosh final answer banana stickers. Yes, eight banana stickers. My only real gripe with this kit is I don't care for this map tank. Just don't care for it. That's the case with a lot of these like sub tank pack in mod kits like this is I tend to really enjoy the mod. I tend to really enjoy the coil heads, but the tank itself, I, I can leave or take this, this map tank. The coil heads on the inside are very nice, very nice and flavorful, kind of along the lines with all of the PNP, TPP, you know, coil heads. Vupu has always had, in my opinion, pretty consistent coil heads. This Argus GT2 itself, uh, real, real great. It's got a real nice hand feel. Some people give me a hard time about talking about hand feel, but I feel it's important. And this one has a nice hand feel. This is gonna draw a lot of comparisons to, you know, another popular mod out there, the Aegis Legend 2. And this isn't a versus video, but I will say this, they are very similar, very similar hand feel, very similar clicky button. The other one might be a little bit more durable as I was able to get this to pop open pretty consistently. I've done it a few more times since then. I can just whack it on my desk and this will fall open. And then it's kind of the gene chip versus the other chip. And I like the gene chip. It's a good solid reliable banger, but I still don't like the wake it up feature. I get why it's there, but for me personally, I just wish you could just turn it off. Just let me turn off the wake up the gene chip feature. It is impossible to find a price for this anywhere across the internet, even, even like directly with Vupu. Other prices for other devices in this same category seem to be around that like between 70 and $90. You see them for about 85, you see them for about 70. That Valerian 3 kit was over $100. I don't know if this is gonna land over $100. I would be surprised. So there probably is gonna be a little bit of vape budget hands involved with this, involved with this rather. As far as the Aliens game go, look, I don't know that I wanna play the Aliens game right now with this. I'm really enjoying it. I really enjoyed my time with it. I think at the end of the day, I like this leather more than I like the other leather. 
I like this hand feel a little bit more than I like the other hand feel, but I do kind of honestly like the other chip more than I like the wake up feature of the gene chip. And clearly I'm rambling. So this is the end of the video. I'm going to have science links down in the description because when it comes to the science of vaping, I want us listening to those scientists. Me, I'll just tell you that no matter what's in your hand, as long as it's not a combustible deadly cigarette, then yeah, adults, let's keep on vaping. Safer nicotine. Let's go. <coughs> it's like 1030 and I'm uh, just going to smoke. So.